your weather authority forecast with Chief Meteorologist Dan Scott, certified most accurate by weather rate. Maybe there's a correlation to the uh, soccer team for the Razorbacks. They're heating up. They're number one in the nation, and the temperatures are heating up. It shouldn't be this way in October. Look at the morning lows, though, 41 degrees, and that's a little cooler than we should be, but... Don't get used to that. Temperatures are going to warm in the mornings and especially in the afternoons. Here's a time lapse from our Weatherbug Network camera, the Zing PG Telco Weatherbug Network camera. Love this shot, and you can see that cloud cover non-existent today. A lot of sunshine. We got our cameras ready for fall foliage. You can see some of the best cameras right here, and Peyton's going to be taking screen captures and then showing you the progression of the fall foliage. We've got that on our website, and if you look at the right-hand side of your screen, currently patchy color across northwest Arkansas and even in the River Valley, and we've got that camera at the Waldron High School as well. If you want to learn more, I just checked it out. Go to our weather blog. You go to knwa.com. Click on the weather tab. You'll see weather blog. You can visit our website for more. We're going to keep you up to date with all the latest fall foliage information and the fire dangers on there as well and we've got those burn bans five counties that you can see included yellow county outside of our weather coverage area but the slicing right through that high fire danger so why is that fire danger getting so high well we'll have that in just a bit but it's h-o-t-t-o-g-o -T -T -O -O at the walmart amp tonight Cha chapel roan and by the way chapel roan is a sold out show Look at that line, by the way. I'm going to go back to that real quick, and you can just see that's the line for general admission. goes all the way back to Top Golf, and then you can see the line to get into the Cherokee, uh, Cherokee area. Uh, pretty incredible. Lower 80s right now. It is definitely a little bit warm. If you're going to get a good seat in the non, good luck, babe. 84 degrees in Fort Smith, 82 in Stigler. You can see those relative humidities right now at about 20%. So that's extremely dry. That's why the fire danger is so high, just to let you know. It's because of the relative humidity. It's the temperatures warming. And if we look at this forecast, overnight tonight, obviously the relative humidity increases because the temperature drops. That makes sense. Once that temperature starts to climb during the afternoon tomorrow those relative humidities will be in the mid 20s for percentages now the winds are light now because high pressure is shifting off to the east but throughout the week and especially later on in the week those winds are going to start to increase and you can see those winds sustained at about 10 15 20 miles an hour with some higher gusts way off to the west so that's something that we will definitely watch your two-day forecast timeline for tomorrow in the upper 80s, lots of sunshine, 90 degrees on Friday, but no rainfall. No rain within the next seven days, no rain within the next 10 days. Really, honestly, I don't even see any measurable rain within the next 14 days. That's the way it looks, so pretty dry. Upper 40s to mid-50s across the area, Sunday in the mid-80s, and Monday, there's that temperature drop. So a little bit of a front, but this is a dry front. And that frontal passage will bring very little of anything, just a little cooler weather and temperatures in the upper 70s Tuesday and Wednesday. And then the River Valley showing those temperatures in the lower 80s and a bit on the toasty side before that front does arrive by the end of the weekend. Dan, I've got to say, I am so in.